Samsung tutustas asja kahte uut mänguritele suunatud monitori odussi G6 ja G9, mis on vastavalt 27-tolline ja 32-tollised 24-hertsise ja 360-hertsised monitorid. Aga kui te siin näete, on tegemist enam mitte nii väga mängurlike, vaid pigem ka selliste monitoridega, mis sobivad näiteks kontorisse või mida ei ole ka häbi oma hemale näidata. Mis nende monitoride puhul lisaks kõrgetele hertsidele ja väga kõrgele resolutsioonile on paar uut muudatust. Näiteks, mis mulle väga isiklikult meeldib, on asjaolu, et siin on kasutatud uut peegeldusvastas tehnoloogiat, mis tähendab siis seda, et monitori pealmine kiht on mustriga, mida küll palja silmaga ei ole näha, aga mis tähendab seda, et põhimõtteliselt peegeldusi praktiliselt ei olegi. Lisaks on nende värvid väga head, nad on nii peenikesed ja ma juba väga ootan, millal ma saaks seda oma arvuti lauale panna. showing them today here as to you, to dedicated uh, media and journalists, because it's very important to see what we are planning to launch. Uh, we are in the KX Experience Showroom, or Experience Center, as I might say. Every year we're launching something, and we always say, what is the surprise element? Um, this year is the G80 SD, or Odyssey OLED G8, and the Odyssey OLED G6. So the difference between them and the previous generation is the following. First of all, it's 27 inches, the G6, and 32 when in the previous generation, if I might say previous generation, is 34 inches. So we are trying to have a full portfolio now with 27, 32 and 34 inches. The difference also is the G6 is 360 Hz. So of course it's QHD, so it still keeps the very, very cool response time, the 0.03. And this one is 260 Hz and it's 4K ultra high definition. And I mentioned 4K, quickly to mention that it has also smart functionality. That's why it's also 4K. So it brings the same specs as the monitor, the smart monitor M80 that we have available. That's why we have somewhere the remote control. So we have two sizes, 27 and 32, that we didn't have before. We have two different specs. The major one is the 360 on the G6. But the most important thing to remember is for the first time we're showing an anti-glare technology. So anti-glare, what does it mean? It has a patent inside. So basically when the artificial light like here or the natural light that comes from the windows hits directly the monitor, it doesn't come back to your eyes, they flex. Plus, as you can see here, it's matte display. So we have kept the slick design, the silver metallic, new octagon stand, this is the differences. But also because it's non-glossy, when you play, you don't see yourself and of course, you see every single detail of the black, deep, and also your character. So this is the one. The other one that is different also because it's OLED, this specific monitor and the G6, they have two new technologies. The one we call it Samsung Plus technology, Safeguard Plus technology. So basically it has a pulsating pipe, it looks like a snake, uh, that actually what it keeps, it keeps with the cool dynamic system that it has inside the monitor, it keeps the core temperature really five times lower. So it doesn't burn and it, you don't feel the monitor really, really getting hot. And also it auto detects that you have static images like uh, logos and uh, taskbars that normally you see when you have the Microsoft, when you have the Word or Windows. And this one detects and then it reduces the brightness. So it doesn't make marks. So all these new technologies, including the sizes, including the slim design, include the glare free and the actual stand, is the differences that we have from the existing portfolio. And those uh, screens also have this AI upscaling? 
this one, it has it because it's also the 4K AI. So it has NQM, new NQM means Neo Quantum Monitor Processor, is uh, generation three. So it's similar to what we're using with the 4K and 8K TVs because it has smart functionality. The other one, it does not. So all the artificial intelligence, which means if you play a content that is really raw resolution, it can nearly go to 4K with this one. But it does it because it has the smart functionality. In. That's why it has the AI, similar with our first generation M80D with the AI. So it's the first gaming monitor with AI processor. Nice.